Okay, uh, good morning. And uh, I'm not sure if this is real visible, but um, this is a problem that PC Guru Engines fixed on his engine more, and I had been looking at and think, thinking about doing something with it. But you can see on the brass cam here, uh, it's starting to have scoring across it. And the scoring and wear is because the push rod is steel, and the steel end of the push rod, um, unless it's got a mirror finish on it when it touches there, is going to wear against the brass, and the brass will wear away, and the push rod uh, will cut into it just like a cutting tool, I guess. Um, so. Uh, PC Guru Engines uh, has more tools, I think, available than I do, uh, and he was able to find a um, bearing and trim this off and attach a little wheeled bearing to the end so that would ride on the cam and not wear from the rubbing of the steel. Uh, I, on the other hand, do not have anything like that, so what I've decided to do is I made a brass shoe for the end of this push rod. So what I did, I've got brass tubing that um, is, I think, the brass tubing I got by error when I was trying to order um, tubing to replace the mufflers on the ET series, uh, but it's... maybe a millimeter thick wall tubing and so I took the uh, X-Acto hobby brand razor saw and carefully cut a ring off the end about that wide and then I cut that ring in half to make a piece for the shoe and I just taped it or I just uh, bent it a little bit with the pliers so it fit on the end uh, and super glued it in place. And I have the Dremel so I shaped it with the Dremel and polished the end of it real nice with the Dremel so it's smooth. Um, and then I test fit this and when I test fit it I found that the uh, extra length from that shoe too many. There we go. Uh, there. Uh, the extra length from the shoe uh, was pushing the exhaust valve open before the exhaust stroke. So on ignition, when the let me just get this on here enough to demonstrate. I'll be reassembling this anyway, so I can just put a few screws in. There we go. Put the two bottom screws on that bracket. So, uh, when it was sliding forward for ignition, this rod was long enough, it was tapping the exhaust valve open during the ignition and uh, during the ignition stroke. So I did have to take, come back with the Dremel and grind the end off here by the millimeter I added on that end. Um, it seems to have kept the timing pretty well, so I didn't actually have to move this block. But if that had meant the timing was out uh, too much, this block is just clamped on there with these two screws. 
and you can loosen them and slide it forward and back to change when that reed switch gets activated. So, and now, with that brass shoe in there, it should stop from wearing on the cam as quickly because it's brass on brass instead of steel on brass. Um, so that is the solution I used for that problem uh, and I will probably put a link to the video where Thomas PC Guru shows off his solution to that problem um, in the description. But if you get one of these, uh, you could also very carefully polish the um, polish the end of that push rod to the shiniest finish you can manage. Now, there. Use the toothpick to hold the spring in so it doesn't pop into that bolt hole. Um, which, honestly, uh, they did the four bolts for symmetry, but for ease of removing this arm, uh, that fourth bolt isn't actually necessary. So, if I were making this myself, I would just leave that out to make it easier to get the spring to just push the arm on without that hole there and slide it into place. But I suspect that when they assemble these at the factory, this gets put in and then because that pin is on this bracket with the switch, they actually uh, put the arm spring and all this and then just push the, put that bracket on the side and then they wouldn't have to slide the spring past that hole. So, um, yeah, so that is that, uh, modification for this engine, uh, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna really extend the life here on the cam, because you can see that a pretty noticeable stripe on this side of the cam and not on that side. And that's because the steel end here was not polished uh, perfectly across. So, like I said, that is the solution I came up with because that is the tools I had for the job. Um, and I will link a description, or I will link in the description for the fancier roller bearing solution that Tom showed.